This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how to use Simulink to build this first order model. In the Simulink browser, we put the add um, icon into Simulink. If we want to have another function, we can do a search. We put the game into Simulink. We connect them. And then we put the integrator into Simulink. After that, we put a scope. scope. And then we use right click to make a connection. Remember, you need to use a right click to search for the gain again. Put it on. We want to switch the direction. Go to format, fifth box. We fit the box and then we connect it there. We search for a step response, a step in, and put it there and connect to the egg, add. So the step input basically is the force input. We use the step input as the input force. We double click the add icon. And in the list of sides, we have a plus and minus. And then you can see the add icon changing from add, add to add minus. We double click the game. We set the value for the game. We set the edit value for the other game. So way right after the force, you can see the game is one over one thousand. That is the mass. And the output of that one over one thousand is the V dot. After the integrator, that is the V. Now we have the step input. The step input we put the time is three. After three seconds, it has the step input. The step input start. Oh, the other thing I want to mention is the damping ratio. We use 65 units. You can see this is output for 10 seconds. The output in here is velocity. Now, I set the program to one for a hundred seconds and use a telescope. You can see it will reach to around 0.015 minimum, uh, 0.015 meter per second. 